So today we're going to talk about the manage post columns filter hook. Okay. So what does this do? Let's go to Codex and check what does this hook do. So if you use apply filters, uh, I mean uh, the apply filters already has this hook and it's got different parameters, post columns, post type. Okay, so what this does is this filters the columns displayed in the post list table. So if you go to dashboard, if you go to post, all post, you can see that, um, you know, you have different set of um, columns over here. You have title, you have author, category, tax. Uh, at some point, uh, in case if you have similar authors for most of the posts, you might not need author or probably categories or tags. So you can actually you know unset them and you can do that using this uh, manage post column uh, filter okay so where is this defined to check that we can go on to our adambrown.info wp hooks filter hooks you can click on so these are two options so since we are dealing with filters you can click on view filter hooks and then you can search for this filter Okay, and if you click on it, scroll down to the latest version, you can see it is uh, defined in WP includes includes uh, class WP posts list table. Okay, so that's where it's defined. So if you go to that pa uh, page, class WP uh, list post table, which is into WP includes includes folder. Okay, um, okay, you will be able to find that you have the apply filter available for this okay so if you can see that um it's checking the condition if post type is equal to page you know go ahead and uh, define this apply filter and this is the hook name manage post pages column sorry this one right here okay so manage post columns and then accept parameters like post columns and post type and that's what we've seen over here post columns and post type so post columns is an array of the column names so it's an array containing you know the names of these columns uh, so it could be column and then uh, braces the square brackets and then the author categories and tags and so on okay and then you have post type which is a slug uh, of the post type okay so this is what is defined and um, we can use the add filter to go ahead and uh, hook our custom function to this particular hook okay <clears throat> filter hook so this is a function and we're checking if this filter exists using has filter and we're adding a filter to this hook manage post columns which is this hook and then we are adding our custom function uh, we are checking if this function exists so that it doesn't clash with the pre-existing uh, functions of WordPress if there are any with similar names and then we are defining this function and we are passing this variable columns okay so if we check uh, it does accept a parameter columns so we're going ahead and passing that okay and this uh, is actually an array as we have checked over here this is an array of column names okay so we have column author column category tax comments and that's what we have here okay author categories etc yeah <clears throat> so what we're doing is we're saying that unset the column author category tax comments and then finally return the array uh, after unsetting these um, you know these properties uh, and if you also check the code reference of this function right here it get columns you can see that post columns is actually an array and we are adding a different fields to it author category post tax taxonomy so by the time the script reaches at this point where in post type is not equal to page which means script, uh, post type is equal to post and that's when the post column will have all these properties available the date taxonomy post tag categories and all of that uh, being set and what we're doing with our custom function is at this point when the script reaches over here it is calling the function which is hooked to this hook which is our function right here and this function is going to make this array available 
So this post column array, which has got all these properties available, and we are going ahead and unsetting these uh, properties and then returning the columns. So by the time the script reaches over here, after uh, you know modifying the post columns array, we will have an array which will have all the other uh, properties, but not author categories, tags, and comments because we have unset them. We've deleted them. Okay, and then this post column will be available. This array will be available, and that's what is being returned over here. Okay, cool. So if we go back um, to our site, and if we go ahead and refresh the page, just one moment. Okay, I've removed the has filter condition. I'm just defining it as add filter. Okay, and let's go and refresh the page. And you can see these columns are gone. If you uncomment one of them, you can see one of them is back. The comment one is back. If you uncomment the tags, you can see the tags are back. Okay, so that's how you can play with it in case you don't want some of the columns. Okay, and uh, if I go ahead and get rid of the title column, You can see the title is also gone. Okay, so that's the job of this filter. It goes ahead and allows you to, you know, latch on to this hook that WordPress provides and allow you to run your custom function, which gives you access to the column variable, which is actually an array containing uh, all the fields, um, the properties of different columns. And then you can either delete them, add, add a new properties or things like that. And then finally return the column array. And basis with this array, uh, you know, will be passed back to the hook and to the apply filter. Um, and then that's what will be returned over here. Okay, cool. If you have any questions, please leave the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.